If helplessness had a signature in my remembrance, it was his face, my father's. I detested those sleeping lines on his forehead so much so I would do anything to hush them, shush them and push them, often trying to dispel the drooping doodles on my dear daddy's face. I would find myself choosing not to choose, receiving when I instead take. Since the times I secured that little leeway to decide my hairdo or the size and fall of my skirt, those fine lines above his brows dictated my every decision. Wasn't he my king, I, his princess? Or at least, so I thought, the daughter me. In the name of love, accommodate and adjust, resign and renounce, forget, forgive and forbear. Years passed. They say I shaped up good. A woman, a mother, a wife. Many times all of them at once, at other times reduced to none. No one at all, just a mass of hot red covered in warm brown with cold beads. This morning, on the breakfast table, I witnessed those draughts of helplessness once again hitting his face. My husband's. It was my daughter on the receiving end. In the name of love, ready to succumb to those wrinkles on her dear daddy's forehead. Shall I scream and save her for better? Or shall I remain soundless and let her shape up good? Like me? Like you?